So, so this is a summer legume and obviously can produce a lot of biomass in the summer, which is one reason why we like to use it in rotation. But in a subtropical climate, in a tropical climate, we have difficulty killing it with a roller crimper. So this is a problem. This is something that doesn't work well with a roller crimper, this particular species. And if we look the next species over, we have another tropical, subtropical legume with an erect growth habit, a lot more carbon, Okay, and so we're able to get a lot of biomass on sun hemp, Cordillaria gensia, um, in the summertime, and we have a good solid termination. Okay, so the roller crimper will come through, interrupt the flow of xylem and phloem in the stem, effectively starving the plant, and we want it to just die in place. We want that crown to stay in the soil so that we don't disturb that root system allow those roots to die slowly in the soil until the point where we can get back in with a no-till drill or a vegetable transplanter and put a next round of living roots in the soil. And finally on the end we have Sorghum sudangrass hybrid. Okay, this is another erect cover crop but this is a grass and so, um, so this we have a good success terminating this in Florida and Stuart I'll let you talk about oh. what happens in St. Croix. Sure. So a big, a big thing to keep in the mind is with a lot of these conservation practices, agroecology practices and work with cover crop, it, you know, it's not a one shoe fits all mentality. Obviously things are, are very adapted. So for termination with the roller crimper in this manner at this time of the year in the middle of July isn't, isn't a good practice um, as far as getting the kill but waiting until your first hard freeze or frost, which this will carry through to, whether it's September, October, early November, that's a completely different application of how the technology can be managed. Right. So, you, 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 like I said, it's not that this won't work with a crimper, it won't work now with a crimper, but it will, it will work better um, during after that first frost or, or hard freeze, and then you'll lay down that that thick mulch, but in the vegetative state, that won't be the case. If we're talking about sun hemp, termination is very, very key. Um, and what you want is you want that lignification process to be near complete. Now, how many of y'all think this is a good time to kill this crop? A little too early. We're early. We're, we're very early. How many flowers do we see out there? Zero. Okay. so. This, this, this event is, is a timed event and not ideal for this, for this demonstration. So we're going to show the flail mower and uh, we'll look at the difference of what's going on there. But ideally, this sun hemp should be at full bloom. And if y'all don't know it, it's one of the most beautiful agronomic crops out there with a bright golden flower. And it's very, very, very good at attracting beneficials. And we can talk about that stuff in more detail, but I'm going to let this guy run the run the flail mower now.